Hey, it's Ink Mage, and I'm about to take you to 10 towns in Icewind Dale. Let's go. Upcoming from WizKids are these two sets. One is for several buildings, and I'll show you in a second, and one is for the lodge. The buildings are these, an inn, an apothecary, and a residence. And of course, this is the lodge. But how do they look in person? Well, let's take a look. One thing out of the gate that I can tell you that I like is this. Look, you can just pick these up. Pick them up, drop them down. These buildings are set on bases of snow. So this is a very welcome addition for any campaign, but particularly if you're running Rhyme of the Frost Maiden. So let's take a look at the lodge. Looks pretty good, I love it. And it's pretty sizable. I grabbed some minis that were near at hand just to show you the size. And here we have a medium size mini, a large, and a huge. So you can see that these buildings are substantial in their size. And, you know, they could make up a small village or perhaps just a portion of the village for your player characters. But, I mean, you could certainly, uh, the, the price point is so reasonable on these that you could double up on these without hurting your pocketbook. One of the cool things is these do have some interior playing space. So, for example, I'm going to just pop this roof off and show you. Look at you can head on inside to the lodge and now it becomes a playable space. You can put your minis on the stairs and that's pretty cool, right? And the same can be done over here as well. So there is playable space and these assemble pretty easily once you have them together. Um, putting, th putting them together, it really depends on your personality. If you are if you are good at assembling things, you're gonna put it together pretty fast. If you're like me, it may take you a little bit. One thing to notice while you're putting them together is, is to match up these little numbers. So you'll see there's numbers here, and each slot has a corresponding number. So that's a little tip just to make it easier for you. Now I'm just going to put the lodge aside for a moment to bring you over and check out these buildings. And again, man, these are just really cool looking medieval buildings. And they're varied from one another, so you have a visual variety, which is always good. I like the graphic. Look, I mean, there's depth to that, so it does look, and I'm from upstate New York, and we were just dumped on with snow, so you know, this is recognizable for me. And again, you can jump into these buildings and you can pop these roofs up and off and you can look in and there's playable space, which again is a is is maybe a plus for you. But maybe you just like having them out for set decoration, you know, to have out, you know, as set pieces for your for your town. And then you use maps for the interior. Whatever your style of play is. So again, you have these and they just slot back in. You just saw it, put the slot back in and it, and it picks up. So here we have, there's the inn, the apothecary, and what was it? The re a residence. And it's really, uh, you know, let me see. This could be an inn. Or maybe this is the inn. It's got a little sign. Let's get a focus on that. So here's the inn. Maybe this is the apothecary or residence. And, or that's the apothecary and residence. But, if, again, if you're running a short adventure, a campaign, or even just an encounter in a snowy village, you're going to want to pick these up. I'll have details and links below for you. And I believe, I believe the lodge is $15 and change. And I believe this is $24 and change. So you could load up and, like I said, double up and then have, you know, eight buildings or, or even triple up. 
whether you're running Rhyme of the Frost Maiden uh, or a homebrewed game set in a wintry location or just running your players through some encounters in a frozen area where you need a village, perhaps even uh, the village of Kresk in Curse of Strahd. I wish I had these when I was running that campaign. That would have been perfect. Uh, these are really going to be useful for your terrain arsenal and really at that price point, they are they are a must have. So I highly recommend you check them out. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe for some extra XP and make sure to follow me on Instagram. Until next time, catch you later. Yeah.